ETH Football brings you to the Premier League show where we will review the last match day and preview the upcoming matches in our style with special focus on derbies and infamous rivalries. Let's start with reviewing some of the most exciting matches of match day 27. Relegation fighters Bournemouth shock Liverpool to win 1 0, tending their top four ambitions, meanwhile, boosting their survival hopes. The same Liverpool who put seven past the GR goal last week and look to have turned the corner in their fluctuating season. We think they are still celebrating their win over Manchester United that they forgot to turn up on the south coast like their ex-captain Jamie Carragher who celebrated their victory by drinking 7-up can on a live TV show. The other exciting watch was Leicester vs Chelsea where Chelsea scored three sublime goals and seemed to be getting into groove for the business end of the season. They have now won three matches in a row for the first time since October and also scored three goals for the first time since November. You just cannot rule out Chelsea from achieving anything as this club seems to perform best in chaos and winning is in their DNA. In other matches, Everton beat the most informed team in Premier League, Brentford, by 1-0, showcasing their grit and fight under Sean Dyche, which was absent under Superfan. At the other end of the table, Manchester City won 1-0 at home to Crystal Palace, maintaining the pressure on Arsenal, who themselves won convincingly 3-0 away to London rivals Fulham. Manchester United drew at home to struggler Southampton, suggesting all is not rosy under Ten Hag and they still have a big summer to actually challenge for major honours. Two top four candidates also won. Spurs ran out comfortable winners against Nottingham Forest. Meanwhile, Newcastle had to dig out a victory against an ever-improving Wolves team under Hulen Lopetui. Now, let's take a look at updated Premier League table after last week matches. Arsenal maintained their 5-point lead over Manchester City. Other spots in top 4 are currently occupied by Manchester United and Spurs, but Newcastle at 5th have games in hand to leapfrog them. Despite their win over Liverpool, Bournemouth ends the week in bottom 3 with Leeds and Southampton. Now, put your seatbelts on for the most exciting matches of coming match day. This match day will have only 6 matches due to the FA Cup round of 16 also happening this weekend. The match that is going to be the most interesting will be played at Stamford Bridge with Chelsea hosting Everton. The mood has turned around at the bridge in recent weeks, but beating Everton will not be as easy as it seems on paper. Chelsea will have N'Golo Kante back fit, a massive boost for them. With him and Enzo Fernandez in midfield, we wouldn't want to place a bet against Chelsea. Title chasers Arsenal will host Crystal Palace in a very interesting London derby. Crystal Palace is coached by an Arsenal legend in Patrick Vieira, the last Arsenal captain to win the Premier League, who would want Arsenal to win the title but not this match. Other matches see Newcastle travel to Nottingham Forest who have been very solid at their home ground. A game of huge significance for Leicester City as they face a make or break phase for their season. Can Southampton repeat their performance and more importantly the result of last week against Spurs who would want to keep winning to secure a top 4 place. Liverpool now have lost 12 matches in all competitions this season, which is their joint most since Jurgen Klopp took over. Is his time coming to an end at Liverpool? The history suggests the same as his previous tenures at Mainz and Borussia Dortmund also lasted 7 years. In this segment, we will show the most important event of last week and this week it is Arling Haaland scoring 5 goals in a Champions League knockout game against RB Leipzig. He equaled the record of Lionel Messi for most goals in a single match in CL knockout game. To put things in perspective, he is only 22 years old and has 31 goals in 25 CL games. He scored 5 goals against one of the most highly rated young defenders in Guardiola. Arling Haaland is not a human. He is an animal in football who just wants to destroy opposition. A force of nature. A real giant who doesn't stop. Manchester City will take some stopping this year in CL with Haaland in this form and they have given up on the Premier League. That's all for this week folks, stay tuned for our next update, go hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, ciao!